Greetings, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Troy Devlin. I'm a health coach and a mindfulness guide. And in this video, I thought we could talk a little bit about motivation. We'll talk about my motivation behind making some of these YouTube videos. And, um, you know, I'm passionate about men's health, biohacking, um, returning to nature. I'm, I'm all about uh, ancestral practices and, and the benefits that come with that. So uh, if we're of the same tribe, what I would ask is that you subscribe to the channel. Take one second, find that little button and boop that button for me. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it means the world to me. So um, in this video, I would be responding to a specific question that I got the other day by a person by the name of Aman. Aman says, hey, could you motivate me to do YouTube more consistently and give me some tips? Thank you. And I'm, uh, I'm sort of blown away by this. I'm honored and, and probably not in a great position to give advice on doing YouTube videos, Iman, because I am a, I'm a, I'm a small and relatively new creator. I've been doing this for one year, and, um, and I am, I'm still an infant in, uh, in YouTube. But you asked for tips, and... Um, you know, I, I appreciate you. I'm happy to share my experience, so I'm going to do that. Now, when it comes to being a beginner in something, and you know, one of my main tips is just to be authentic. As a presenter of any kind of information, it's, it, you're going to do, your, uh, your delivery is going to be a lot better. Your message is going to get across better if you're authentic. So I would just say be yourself. And right now, Aman, for you and me, part of being ourselves is we're, we're infants in this game. So maybe try adopting what I would call a child's mind. And that is one that is, it's kind of like a sponge and you're, you're willing to take in new information and you don't just assume that you know everything, you know, because uh, we can't learn what we already think we know. So adopt a child's mind, really just embrace that, that uh, aspect of being new and, um, and don't, don't feel like you have to hide that from your audience. And it doesn't seem like you do. I watch some of your stuff and it seems like you're, you're pretty authentic and you're, um, you're comfortable with sort of building in public, as they say, or sharing um, the process that you're going through. So, uh, so kudos to you for that. But um, another tip, Aman, that I, that I have found uh, to be helpful for me on my journey is be okay looking ridiculous. Okay, and this, this probably just it ties into that authenticity point, but be okay feeling a little bit nervous when you're up there, maybe making a stumble, you know, I'll, I'll do a video and like my voice will crack or something, or I'll say the wrong thing, or I'll look silly, something will happen. And you know what, I just, I just hit, I just post it anyway. Because um, cause maybe just, Learning to be okay with looking ridiculous, it helps us move forward and not being so critical of ourselves. I once heard that, that uh, there are some people who would rather be in the coffin than to be the one giving the eulogy because some people are so concerned about the spotlight effect or, or um, you know, the, the idea that maybe people are looking at them, <laughs> right, when they have to talk, um, that can be, that can put people off so much that they would actually rather be in the coffin than the person, you know, giving the eulogy, the speech. So now just imagine that when it comes to you being okay with looking or feeling ridiculous. Just embrace that and notice it. And, um, and I think that that's totally okay. There are so many people who consume content. There are few people who create content. And uh, getting up there and taking our licks is just part of being a, it's just part of being a creator. But, um, so, you know, with that, it's, you want to be mindful of um, perfection being the enemy of progress. When we're too critical, I can remember when I first started making videos, I got a lot of very constructive um advice and it was very helpful and I took it all to heart and I really tried to implement all of it, you know, as much of it as I could. And what I found myself doing was I, be I began to be very critical, so critical that I stopped posting videos 
because I was letting perfection get in the way of just me hitting post or hitting send, just, just send it, you know? So, um, so that's just, you know, don't be so critical of yourself, send it, you know, it's, <laughs> I don't want to tell you that it's all about volume and it's all about reps, you know, cause a coach will tell you that, that it's all about, you know, perfect practice makes perfect. But at some point you have to create momentum for yourself just by doing it. And, I, I, I'm trying to think of a good example, like imagine something else that like you just do, right, really without ever having to think about it. That's an example of a situation where you've created momentum for yourself. So brushing your teeth, right? You brush your teeth just because every single day, right? Maybe you, maybe you do it a couple times a day. You do it when you do it. But the point is, if you were to miss that, you would feel it, right? If you don't brush your teeth, you're like, oh man, I didn't brush my teeth. Something, something feels off. That's where you have to get with making content. You have to get, you got to get to a point where if you don't make the content, then something feels off, right? And the only way you can really get there is through reps, just by doing it. Even when you don't feel like it, you just do it anyways, right? There's probably times when you're you're so tired and you just want to go to bed. You don't feel like brushing your teeth, but you just do it anyways, because it's your thing. So if you can get content to a point where it's like that for you, um, that might be a path to you know, what we call motivation, which is really tricky. I, again, I don't believe that motivation even exists. You have to create it for, your, for yourself through movement. You got to get started, create that momentum. And the feeling of momentum, in my opinion, it really is, is where uh, motivation comes from. I'm already doing this thing and it just gets, and then it just gets hard to stop. So um, some other things that I found to be very helpful as a as an infant creator on YouTube is to just sort of find something about the process that you like. For me, it's just posting the video. Once I've posted a video and I know that I've accomplished that, you know, for the day or whatever, I I try to put out as much as I can. I feel good just in doing it, right? I focus on the process, not the results. I'll watch those numbers. I'll be watching them. And as a new creator, <laughs> you may be familiar with uh, lower numbers, right, than what you might like. Everyone, everyone wants people to watch their material. But, um, you know, as a new creator, you're not always going to get that. So if we focus on the results, if I'm expecting to go viral and that's, what's, and that's what I'm going to get satisfaction from, from going viral, well... <laughs> I could be waiting for that. That might never happen. I'm not going to, it doesn't make sense. It's, that's not a sustainable, that's going to lead to quitting. So, um, yeah, you know, this, it's the same thing for fitness because right, like in fitness, if you lift some weights, you're not jacked because you just lifted some weights. Like it, it really progress. You don't see, you don't really see the progress in the beginning. So you have to find something else in that process that keeps you going something that you like there's got to be something that you like and um, it might even be because you have such a strong sense of your why your why might just be so strong that um that that's enough for you my why is helping just one person i tell myself if i can help just one person then the time uh, spent in making the video was worth it so again, I don't focus on those numbers, all right? Those will, those will come over time or they won't. We have to be able to still find something about the process that nourishes us and not worry so much about the numbers. Now to that, try not to compare yourself to other people because this will, this will just, it, it can crush your spirit. You compare yourself to other people and again, you're looking at those numbers, you're seeing what they're doing, what they have, you're comparing it to yourself. The problem with that is that those people are, although they may be on the same type of journey, um, they're just they're just in a different place, and you really have to be careful about comparing yourself to other people because that will rob you of your joy. You will really then it's going to make it hard for you to stick with the process, find something that you like, and it's going to lead to quitting. So. People do this in fitness sometimes. They'll compare themselves to somebody else. Their friend can eat whatever they want and they stay skinny, but they're not already skinny. There's a lot of skinny people out there that can eat whatever they want because they just eat maintenance. 
And if you're in a place where you're okay with your body staying the same, you can just eat maintenance and nothing will change. And, you know, and sometimes we compare ourselves to other people who are in a different place than us. And so it's not really, it's not really a good comparison and it definitely sabotages us, makes us want to quit. So, um, I have a little checklist that I sort of run through, you know, on, on my, uh, sort of creator journey. Um, I ask myself these questions before I hit post. So I will ask myself, what am I trying to create? Am I creating something, right? If you're creating something, then I feel like, like for me, it feels pretty good. Before this, I never really, I never was artistic. It was, I'm not really good at building things. It's like, so I ask myself, what can I create? So if you're creating, it feels good to create. What can I contribute? Are you trying to entertain? Are you trying to educate? Are you trying to edutain? I try to do a little edutainment. I try to pass on some stuff that I know or that I've heard, and I try to do it in a way that will make people smile and is a little bit entertaining. It helps lighten up the mood a little bit during the training. Um, how can I connect? So there's someone on the other end of your message and you're trying to connect with those people that are, that are hearing your message. So what, what can I create? What can I contribute? How can I connect? And what can I cultivate? Can you plant any seeds? Can you, can you, um, I don't know, can you cultivate relationships? So I ask myself those questions. I find those questions to be helpful before I hit post. And then, um, and then without being too critical of myself and without you know, really worrying about those little, those little mess ups and stumbles and all that stuff, boop, I just hit post. So uh, be authentic. Authenticity wins at the end of the day. And, um, and I look forward to seeing more of your stuff in the future. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you soon.